some arrivals in Rwanda is affecting migrants trying to reach Britain from northern France. Our stars are flocking to the French Riviera for the 75th annual Cannes Film Festival. Hollywood heavyweight Tom Cruise made a major splash earlier in the week with his latest Top Gun film. Well, let's catch up with Sandro Minetti, who's the editor-in-chief of Hollywood International Filmmaker a magazine. He's in Cannes, usually in LA. Uh, and in fact, you're living it up, aren't you? Living the high life on that balcony over in Cannes. I know uh, you've got the beach behind you. Is it as wonderful? as it seems? Is it as glam as it seems or is actually uh, it's all smoke and mirrors? Even more so. It's my first can. Life takes us to some amazing places. This is the most uh, influential, glamorous and stylish film event in the world. Um, and I'm part of it in a different way this year because I'm normally uh, reporting on uh, movie stars, interviewing them, but I've become a movie maker myself. So um, I've got my uh, own documentary, Tech to the Future, opening tomorrow. So it's uh, incredible to have it as part of this uh, amazing festival. And how do you feel about that? Are you nervous about your documentary being seen by, you know, the industry heavyweights? Not at all. Uh, the victory is being part of the of the festival. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, people who've seen the, uh, the footage so far seem to, seem to like it. So that's great. Hopefully I won't get booed out of France. But I've heard about these 16 minute epic standing ovations uh, they have here. So I'd like a bit of that. Well, well wouldn't that be nice? I'd like one of those myself. Um, there are <laughs> so many films, of course, to choose. Thank you. <laughs> that's probably the only one I'll get all day. Uh, there are so many films to choose from. Which are the ones that you think are causing the big buzz over there? Well, yes, the competition is on for the Palm d'Or, the uh, the main event of the festival, which is virtually a, a free pass uh, to the Oscars. Uh, we've seen films like uh, Parasite and Drive My Car in recent years uh, start at Cannes and go all the way to the big one back home in Hollywood. Uh, this year, um, Armageddon Time, uh, which stars uh, Anthony Hopkins, the oldest ever Best Actor winner. Uh, he's very much back in the awards race here. Uh, there's Crimes to the Future, uh, which has got lots of uh, attention as well. Um, and even though it's not in competition, for me, the best film was Top Gun 2. I was on that highway to the danger zone and it was amazing. Uh, really emotional, really delivered on every level. So it's about crowd-pleasing movies and it's about award winners too. And also perhaps a little bit of escapism as well. You know, I mean, it's been a long time coming, a bit of joy in the world after years of the pandemic and of course the awful news that's coming out daily from Ukraine. It, it is indeed and we had the virtual can in the past it's just to walk around here and see all the wonderful pavement cafes are full of people enjoying life and enjoying movies. Um, and, and with the news from the Ukraine, yes, so much uh, support uh, here for the, uh, the people of Ukraine and uh, so much opposition uh, to a Russian-made movie uh, that is screening here, Tchaikovsky's Wife. Uh, lots more support for Mariopolis, which is a, a Ukrainian movie, um, all about, uh, you know, film during the, the Russian invasion. And the director of that uh, lost his life uh, while filming the uh, the final scenes for the, for the movie. So there are political overtones here as well as creative ones. And of course, it's, it's an opportunity for the big film stars and the big directors to, to have their stage and to promote their, their own agendas as well as their own movies. So who have you seen and, and, and what are they saying? Uh, well, uh, I saw Julia Roberts last night. I mean, where has she been? I mean, it's just great to see her back. So, I mean, what a way. She really carries herself like a movie star and she flashes that $30 million smile. It's like a, a golden light, you know, came on over Cannes when she arrived. And talking of megawatts movie stars, no one does it as well as Tom Cruise. Um, I said he was very good in Top Gun, but I think his greatest role is being Tom Cruise. I mean, there is so much attention sort of focus to him. He really knows how to market these movies. Maybe he wants to be in Tech to the Future too. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? I think he's certainly on the front page of a lot of the papers here in the UK, uh, leading, um, of course, Kate Middleton um, up to the premiere here in London. So, yes, he certainly does very well in terms of the headlines. Thanks so much for your time today. Enjoy it and best of luck for your movie too. Au revoir. Au revoir.